Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Uniwigs. This is Dorothy. It is a Remy human hair wig by Uniwigs that is more budget friendly than most human hair that's out there. High quality Remy human hair, I should add. If you wanna know more about this style or Uniwigs in general as a resource for wig wearing, then stick around. I would like to thank Uniwigs for sending me Dorothy so that I could share her with all of you. I am grateful for partnerships that allow me to bring you guys a ton of variety. Uniwigs has actually been around for a long time and I reviewed, I think I've reviewed a few synthetic pieces from them a number of years ago within the first year of my wig wearing when I was doing reviews and so not only do they carry synthetic but they carry a wide variety of human hair budget friendly higher end they kind of cover the gamut and have lots of options so if you've never checked them out please visit their website uniwigs U-N-I-W-I-G-S dot com. I will have a link in the description of this piece if you're interested in learning more about it. All right, everybody, let's take a look at Dorothy from all sides. Like I said, this is a Remy human hair wig, so it is quality human hair. It feels absolutely amazing, so silky and soft, and this is how Dorothy air dries. So I wash Dorothy, and I will be putting out a video showing you how to wash a human hair wig, at least how I wash human hair wigs, and I will use this one. So if you wanna see me wash Dorothy, then stay tuned for that. I'm not sure which order my reviews will come out. So if this is out before the washing, there won't be a link in the description and you'll have to watch for it. If the washing comes out first, then I'll make sure that the link to that video is in the description if you would like to see how I like to wash my human hair wigs. But I wanted to make sure that I showed you this one unstyled. I've not curled this one. And I've actually seen other people review it who did curl it, so I know that this will curl just fine, and I may still do a curling video with it, I'm, I'm not sure, but I really think sometimes it's important to see how these human hair wigs dry, because that's going to be an indicator for you how much styling will need to be done to make it wearable, and if you like straight hair, this one dries beautifully. All I had to do really was to get this so it didn't dry so it laid really great on me and I just took a hair dryer just on this very front section and I just took a brush and I sort of dried it one side to the other so that it would lay well for this review but I didn't take heat to any other part of this except for the cap which I always do. I take a hair dryer with a diffuser on it to help get the cap a little bit drier so because that will take the longest to dry and that really makes a difference in the drying of a wig, but I didn't take any heat, whether it be drying or tools to this one, it really dries perfectly straight and beautiful. Now what's unique about this piece is the fact that it does not have a lace front. So for some of you, that's probably going to be a deal breaker, but just know that Una Wigs does carry lace front wigs. This one just doesn't have one. And I'm actually finding that it lays fairly well in the front for not having a lace front. So if you are sensitive to lace fronts, if you find them irritating, or if you just don't prefer them, it is great to be able to show you guys some wigs that don't have a lace front. Now, if you're not sure if you like, would like one without a lace front, I do want to just stress that this does lay really well, uh, and I'm having no issues with it looking natural in the front at all. I was really surprised about that. I thought, you know, I was hesitant to say yes to review this piece because I personally prefer lace fronts. And I'm not really sure how to work with wigs that don't have lace fronts. Because a lot of times they look really obvious unless you cut bangs into them, but this one is really laying great. So I want to stress that. The only caution I would give you is you can see right here where that lace it's actually a silk top right here where that silk top ends and the hair kind of sits down. 
I think if you took a little bit of makeup right there or if you just really work with the style, I think you can work with that. The other thing I want to stress, let me grab my brush. I didn't, I didn't grab it, but it's just right here. One thing I want to stress is if you are a bang wearer, if you find yourself either looking for wigs with bangs or you cut wigs or bangs into most of your wigs, this one could be great because you're not paying that premium price for a lace front. You know, those are more expensive and they're hand tied. That does help keep the price point on this one lower. And so if you're going to cut bangs into it anyway, you know, I can't get it to lay perfectly because I worked hard to put the part where it is. But if you took a hair dryer and you got it so it would lay forward with no cowlick right there, you totally can. It's only doing that because of how I, I worked on it. Um, I think you could cut bangs into this one great. And then you don't have to navigate a lace front. You don't have to cut the lace on a wig. So I definitely think there are benefits to non-lace front wigs depending on how you wear them. The other thing that you can do, and I've actually seen many women do this. I actually think someone who reviewed this piece may have done it. I know she did it on Instagram. I don't know if she did it on YouTube. But what you can do, if you have some bio hair in the front, you can pull and it matches the color of the wig. This is in the color Espresso Brown, which is a dark kind of a dark golden brown. It definitely has some golden highlights in it. We'll talk a little bit about that later. But if your hair color can match it, then I really think that you can make the non-lace front work by pulling out. I don't have bio hair in the front to do this with, but by pulling out a little bit of your bio hair and then just sort of combing it back into the wig, similar to what some people do with toppers, and that could help a lot. So please keep in mind, if you have some bio hair or a lot of bio hair, you can always use it to blend with your wig, whether it's blending the sideburns, whether it's pulling hair out in the front. There are lots of things you can do to blend your hair to make wigs look more natural. And a non-lace front wig really makes that wonderful. So this is what we've got here. We've got, like I said, no lace front. That's just a reinforcement seam, which is really what I think you're seeing when you can kind of see the end of it right in the front. We've got a beautiful, you know, is it a silk top? It's a lace top. It's not a silk top, but it looks really great. And it's definitely not super scratchy. It's not the smoothest top I've ever felt. Silk tops are usually smoother, but this feels really good and it's not super scratchy. We've got ear tabs with comb or clips in them, pressure clips, just like a topper would have, which can, if you have bio hair, you can tuck that into your bio hair. It really can help give you a little bit of security. For me personally, I find pressure clips to be uncomfortable. I have a very sensitive sensitive scalp. I usually cut these out of the wig. I just didn't want to do that before I reviewed it. So you can definitely cut them out if you don't like them. We've got an extended nape and hook adjusters back here. And then the rest of this piece, kind of hard to see with it being so dark, is closed wefted. And I've talked about this in previous videos. I really like closed wefted wigs. I think they are... Um, I don't think they're much hot, really much hotter than an open weft. People talk about open wefting being cooler because of the airflow that gets through. But an annoying feature of an open weft is the hair tends to poke through the other side. You don't have that with closed wefting. I just feel it, it contains the wig so much better. I do like closed wefting and this one does have the closed wefting. And so I just want you to see how easy you just throw it on comb it out, you know, arrange the hair, however it is that you have it, and you're good to go. It's just the easiest, quickest wig to wear. Now, because this is a lace top, if you are bothered by visible knotting, you can see just a little bit of the knotting here. Let me get up close. Now, obviously, people aren't going to be doing this. The hair does have a little lift, but all you have to do is take a little bit of translucent, loose face powder. You can use pressed powder as well. Something just a slight bit lighter than your skin tone and a makeup brush and just dab it on that part line. I have videos showing you how to do that and I will link them in a link at least one of them in the description. Don't don't panic if you get a wig that doesn't have bleach knots and you can see the knotting. Makeup really does make a huge difference. And let me just tell you, bleaching the knots on a human hair wig, you can't do them on can't bleach dots on a synthetic does weaken those knots a little bit and can shorten the life of a wig. And some people don't care. 
they will only wear wigs with bleach knots but other people really want their wigs to last as long as possible and so keeping those knots natural will really help with that and just a little bit of makeup makes all the difference let's talk about density so i would consider this a moderate a moderate to heavy density piece it's not heavy density it's not a ton of hair but it's definitely a f nice you know luscious head of hair probably closer to moderate than heavy but it definitely has a good amount of hair and one thing that I'm noticing about it there is a little bit of lift up here the way that they did this that's why I kind of thought it might be a silk top because those tend to be a little thicker this monofilament is a little bit thicker and it, it gives a little bit of lift right here I don't know if you can see that but when I look in the mirror, it almost looks like I round brushed and back combed it on the crown just a little bit. You know, synthetic or um, human hair wigs don't have permatees, so it's not really permatees, but sometimes the density and how they either tied or sewed the fibers into the wig can impact whether or not it's super flat or has a lot of lift. I think if you're looking for something super flat, you can take a hot comb and you can sort of press it down with a hot comb. I actually show you how to use a hot comb on a synthetic wig and to set the part. And I think you could do the same thing with this one. So just keep in mind, there are definitely things you can do with these wigs to make them your own. Don't think you have to wear it exactly like it comes out of the box. The other thing I want to point out, because all of this is parting space, you can part this one anywhere. Uh, within that parting space which goes kind of from here to here so you can do a side part you can do a center part you can do a left part you can do a right part it's totally up to you and if you need help setting that part because sometimes um, wigs can be stubborn when you want to change the part heat just trying to get to redirect those knots will do it for you let's talk about fit so this is a, an average cap it says it has, you know, it's basically for a 22 inch circumference, give or take, because you saw those hook adjusters. I have this one pretty much um, adjusted, I want to say out all the way, and it fits me really, really well. There is a tiny, like the tiniest bit of stretch on this. It's not a super stretchy cap. I don't think I would recommend it for really much over 22 inches, but 22 inches, a little bit, you know, 22 or 21 and a half, I really think you're going to be fine. Um, I would reach out to them if you're unsure about how it might fit you and just ask them about fit, uh, just, just to kind of ease your mind about making the purchase. I really don't get extra cap up here. It kind of fits my over the head really pretty perfectly. So it's not running super average over the top because I have very petite measurements over the top. And one thing I'm noticing, I'm not getting as good a coverage on the sides as I prefer. This is where the ear tabs lay, and I have a lot of bio hair showing. I actually had to take root touch-up powder, or an, actually a pen that I've been testing out, and you can see how I colored it in on the sides there because my hair is so gray on the sides it really didn't blend well but using that really helps a lot so if I want to tuck this one which I can because of where those ear tabs fall I have no problem with clearance glasses will be fine how this fits me you could really see my graying bio hair it did not blend at all with this dark brown so um just keep that in mind look in the description of this video you will find all of my measurements you can compare them to yours and know that if your measurements are bigger than mine anywhere this is going to fit you smaller and kind of keep that in mind with how you like to wear your wigs. If you've got bio hair on the sides that match the color of the wig that you're getting, just pull that bio hair out. Let me kind of demonstrate that for you. Just pull that bio hair out. It's a little sticky now from that pen that I had never used before. And then you can blend it in with the wig. As long as it is a close match to the color, that helps so much with realism. And I do it often when my hair matches the wig almost all the time. So before we talk about color, I just want to give you my overall impression of this piece. Then we'll talk about color and we'll go outside and I'll let you see this color outside. I think this wig is super, super comfortable. I am enjoying it so much. I actually wish it were in a color that I wear more frequently. I don't really gravitate toward the super dark brunettes because I think I would wear this a lot even without that lace front because it lays so naturally in the front and I really just love how it looks when I tuck it I just love how it looks I think it looks super natural really super realistic I have I really recommend this piece the hair is it really 
beautiful. The only thing I would caution you on is if you are brand new to wigs, you've been losing your hair for a long time, and you're just looking for something super low density, while I wouldn't, like I said, I would consider this more moderate than high density, I definitely think it will take a little bit of getting used to for someone brand new to wigs who've been losing their hair for a long time. But look at that ponytail. It's not an overly thick one. So I think it's just a matter of personal preference and comfort level, whether or not this density is perfect for you. I think it's perfect for me. I think there's just wonderful, this wig is wonderful. So let's talk about color. Espresso brown, it only comes in this one color. I did reach out to Uniwigs and ask them if this could be colored, if highlights could be added to it. I will make sure I put that in the description of this video what their answer is. I haven't gotten the answer yet and I still, I have it up on my screen. It's not back yet. And so I want to make sure if you are looking at this, hoping you can color it, I want to make sure you have that information. So I'll have the answer before I actually post this video and I'll make sure it's in the description. So it's just a beautiful, rich, chocolatey brown, super deep, like dark chocolate. It's all consistent all the way through. And like I said earlier, I'm going to get out of the frame so that it doesn't want to focus on my face. It's definitely not a flat color. There is definitely multiple tones in here. And I even see some like golden brown. I wouldn't call this a red, but there are some auburnish tones throughout. It's not heavily highlighted. It's fairly well blended, but I don't know if that's picking it up here. I will get outside so that you can see it outside. It's just a beautiful, rich color. I wouldn't consider it pulling red except for some of the kind of the golden auburn strands almost throughout it. It's not even like highlights. It's almost like, um, you know, like children's hair that's super healthy and has never been colored and they get multiple tones sometimes the sun will will create some beautiful dimension that's what it reminds me of all right everybody let's get outside so you can see this color outside thank you so much uniwigs for giving me the opportunity to try dorothy and share it with all of my wig sisters and my wig community hopefully this will help one of you guys looking for the hair that you've always dreamed of or a replacement for your lost hair. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. All right, friends. This is this beautiful espresso brown color outside. Where's that sun? Whew, bright in my eyes. I want you guys to be able to see it in direct sunlight. A little windy out here so you can see how this hair moves. It is beautiful hair. I'm just so impressed with it. I'm so happy this price isn't as excessive as some of these other human hair wigs that we see on the market. I think it's much more affordable. And just think about how much longer this will last than a synthetic. So you're really going to get your money's worth with a piece like this. It's going to last without a lace front. This thing could last six, seven, eight times as long as a synthetic if you care for it. So just think about that when you go check out the price online. I don't like to talk about price because these videos live forever. You could be watching it two years later and it will, might be a different price. All right, everybody. I hope that gave you a good look. Let's get up close. Okay, thanks for watching. All right, everybody. Let's take a look at this one out of the box. I am going to do an entire video talking about human hair wigs out of the box. So if you're new to wigs, you will definitely want to keep your eye out for that. There are just some challenges to human hair wigs when you first get them out of the box. They're definitely manageable, but we'll talk about it. Here you get to see what Dorothy looked like out of the box. Now, like I said, I did wash her for this video.